Scalar product of two vectors, u and v. In general, we have taken two vectors here, u as a, b, and vector v as c, d. Now, in this video, we will try to explain the two formulas which we use for scalar product of u and v. Right, so here we have two vectors, vector u shown here as a, b, and vector v, which is c, d. These are non-zero vectors. So normally, if I say, what is u dot v? So we can use a formula, which we normally use for geometric vectors, when we say magnitude of u times magnitude of v times cosine of theta, where theta is angle between them, right? So theta is this angle, angle between them. So that is how we know what is u dot v, right? Now, when we are given vectors in Cartesian plane, then we can algebraically find the value. And then the easy way of finding it is by using the formula. Well, in this case, the x components are a and c, and the y components are b and d. So in this case, it will be ac plus bd, right? So product of x components plus product of y components, right? In general, if I have, a, let's say we write, well, let, let me write this uh, general formula. That is u component, that means u component in x direction. Similarly, product of v component with x direction plus u in y and v in y, right? So that is how we get the dot product in R2. Well, if it is R3, then it just gets extended and you write plus uz, yz, right? Let us say this is in R3, for example, right? So I'm not showing R3 at present, but let us assume that we have two vectors in R3, u and v, then that is how we can write algebraically dot product of these two vectors. Now, with this video, I'll try to show you how these two formulas are exactly same and they give you the same result, right? Now, let us say that angle made by V is, let us say, T. Let's say this angle, which vector V makes with the horizontal is, let us say, T. And the angle made by vector U with the horizontal is, let us say, S right? In that case, we know theta is equals to s minus t, the angle between the two vectors, right? Now, let's consider each vector separately. Now, let's see the vector u and let's find what is sine of s equals to. Now, sine of s will be opposite side over the magnitude of vector u, right? So we are considering the triangle which represents vector u, the position vector u, so the right triangle in this case, right? So from here we can write what is sine of angle s, the angle which vector u makes with the horizontal is equal to. It is equal to opposite side, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so for vector u, b is the opposite side, right? The y component. So b over the magnitude of u, correct? Over the magnitude of u. Well, the magnitude of u is a square plus b square square root. So let me write either way. So let me write magnitude of u here, right? And I'll write what is magnitude of u equals to. Magnitude of u is equals to square root of a square plus b square, correct? That is how you'll find magnitude of vector u. Similarly, magnitude of v will be written as square root of c and d squares, right? They are sum. Right. Now, for vector u, what is its horizontal component? Well, the, this is some, what is cos of s equals to. So cos of x equals to the horizontal component a over magnitude of u, right? Now similarly, let's find out 
how is this triangle which, repre which is represented by vector v related right so here the angle is t which vector v makes with x axis so we have sine of t equals to its y component which is d over magnitude of v similarly cos of t is its x component c over magnitude of v okay so that is how we get these terms now let's arrange all this in kind of a different way now we want to prove that a times c is b d right so a a is a and c is here and b is d is there right so what is what we can do is we can multiply these two terms a times c word right so these we can combine these two which says a times c and we can combine these two and see what do we get so what i'm trying to say is let's write down what is cos s cos t plus sin s sin t equals to so sin s sin t let us say what is this equal to so find this is equal to cos s is a over magnitude of u and cos t is c over magnitude of b plus sin s is b over magnitude of u and sin t is d over magnitude of b right so this is what they are equal to now if you combine these terms the magnitudes in the denominator is common so denominator we get magnitude of u times magnitude of v and the numerator you get ac plus bd do you see that so you get ac plus bd over the magnitudes now what is cos s cos t plus sin s sin t equals to so if you remember cos s cos t plus sin s sin t is equal to so let me take this now cos of s minus t right from the trigonometric double angle formulas cos a plus b formulas which we have learned cos s cos t plus sin s sin t is equals to cos of s minus t now s minus t is angle theta so this is cos of theta correct and therefore we can write ac plus bd divided by magnitude of u and v as equals to cos of theta correct now what happens when i cross multiply when i cross multiply i get ac plus bd equals to magnitude of u times magnitude of v cos theta do you see that that is the formula we are looking for so we are now show that these two formulas the results which we have written here they are exactly same do you see that so and what is uv cos theta uv cos theta is u dot v and what is ac plus bd it is u dot v and therefore u dot v could be found either with that algebraic formula which is the product ac plus bd this these are the product of their x components plus y components and if it is 3t then z components right or magnitudes of the two vectors times cosine of angle between them so these two are exactly same formulas and they will always give you the same result and see how we kind of derived it right now the idea is when to use these so there are situations when we know the position but we don't know the angle in that case of course we should be using this formula right ac plus bd and if we know the angle between them so normally the geometrical solutions uv cos theta is a better way and algebraic solutions ac plus bt is a better way but in either case 
we will get the same result. And this is just to show you how u dot v is equal to either one of them and they give you exactly the same result. Okay, I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.